Hi, everybody. For millions of Americans, this is a special and sacred time of year. This week, Jewish families gathered around the Seder table, commemorating the exodus from Egypt and the triumph of faith over oppression. And this weekend, Michelle, Malia, Sasha, and I will join Christians around the world to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the hopeful promise of Easter. In the midst of all our busy and noisy lives, these holy days afford us the precious opportunity to slow down and spend some quiet moments in prayer and reflection. As Christians, my family and I remember the incredible sacrifice Jesus made for each and every one of us, how he took on the sins of the world and extended the gift of salvation. And we recommit ourselves to following his example here on earth, to loving our Lord and Savior, to loving our neighbors, and to seeing everyone, especially the least of these, as a child of God. Of course, those values are at the heart of not just the Christian faith, but of all faiths, from Judaism to Islam, Hinduism to Sikhism. There echoes a powerful call to serve our brothers and sisters, to keep in our hearts a deep and abiding compassion for all, and to treat others as we wish to be treated ourselves. That's the common humanity that binds us together. And as Americans, we're united by something else, too, faith in the ideals that lie at the heart of our founding and the belief that, as part of something bigger than ourselves, we have a shared responsibility to look out for our fellow citizens. So this weekend, I hope we're all able to take a moment and pause and reflect, to embrace our loved ones, to give thanks for our blessings, to rededicate ourselves to interests larger than our own. And to all the Christian families who are celebrating the resurrection, Michelle and I wish you a blessed and joyful Easter. God bless you, and may God continue to bless the United States of America.